The story takes place in the border city of Nogales, Mexico, where Brian, a rugged man living alone in a makeshift camper-like house, has a haunting nightmare of his wife being brutally attacked by a group of men. To escape these tormenting visions, Brian immerses himself in martial arts, devoting his days to rigorous training. Meanwhile, a young guy called Oscar, who lives nearby, observes Brian's martial arts practices from a safe distance. Oscar is awestruck by Brian's skill and longs to learn how to fight. Oscar's everyday routine consists of monitoring Brian's training before leaving. Are you going to school? As the day develops, Oscar finds himself being pursued by a gang in a vehicle. Instinctively, he conveys his danger and tries to elude them by hiding behind a parked car on the roadside. He has no idea that Brian is secretly monitoring his interaction and learning about Oscar's passion to master martial arts. Is motivated by a frantic desire for self defense. The same guys turn up to Oscar's residence at night, assaulting him at gunpoint. They are revealed to be members of Oscar's mobster brother Hector's squad and frequently extort money from Oscar. Despite his innocence, Oscar submits and pays up his money without a fight. Oscar returns to the training field the next morning in search of Brian. Brian approaches him and offers Oscar to join his training, much to his astonishment. Oscar is overjoyed and begins learning defensive movements from Brian. He devotes himself to training, acquiring confidence, and honing his abilities. Oscar's fear of Hector's gang members fades with time, and he confronts them. In the next scenario, Oscar requests that Brian organize an underground combat to put his newfound talents to the test. Brian, on the other hand, rejects, underlining that the techniques he taught Oscar are for self-defense, not professional fighting. Oscar feels enraged and rushes out of the room upon hearing this. Oscar is taken aback when he sees his elder brother Hector and his gang of friends waiting for him outside the training facility. Overjoyed to see his brother again, Oscar approaches Hector with a loving embrace as they engage in discussion. Brian arrives on the scene, and Hector gets suspicious of a new presence. He inquires about Brian from Oscar, asking whether he is a law enforcement officer. Oscar reassures his brother, stating that Brian is his martial arts instructor and presents no threat. Brett Hector, a mobster who has always dreamed Oscar would join him in his illegal operations, confesses his wish for his younger brother to join him. Despite their divergent paths, Hector invites Oscar to a party to celebrate his homecoming from the criminal underground. Oscar, first apprehensive, ultimately accepts and climbs inside Hector's car to join in on the fun. The scene then moves to a bustling pub where Hector and his friends enjoy the company of women. Oscar, on the other hand, feels out of place and expresses a wish to return home. Hector then offers to take Oscar to see an underground battle later, which piques Oscar's interest. After a time, the gang becomes interested in a live underground battle, with bets placed on the result. The referee offers a $10,000 prize for anyone who can defeat their champion fighter, dubbed the Collector. Oscar chooses to join the ring, much to his brother's amazement, motivated by his recent martial arts training. Oscar overcomes the Collector in record time, thanks to the combat tactics he learned from Brian. He accepts the reward money and, with newfound confidence, no longer fears Hector's companions. A spectator in the audience captures the fight and uploads it to the internet unbeknownst to them. In the meanwhile, in Orange County, California, Zero, a criminal defense attorney, receives an emergency call and is handed the footage of Oscar's subterranean struggle. Piero is taken aback by what he sees and instantly notifies his employer, Sonny Kilbin, a crime leader. Sonny is jailed, yet he still has significant authority within the institution. Piero shows Sonny the footage of Oscar's battle, who is similarly astounded. He then orders Piero to find the fighter and begin looking into the identity of Brian, whom they assume is Oscar's teacher. Brian appears to have a link to their illicit organization. Oscar's fighting style is reminiscent to Brian's particular approach. Piero immediately contacts his hit guys in Mexico, assigning them the goal of finding and executing Brian. In the following scene, Oscar, still looking for possibilities for underground bouts, visits a nearby fight club and approaches the receptionist, Mary Saul. He inquires about membership, anxious to put his newfound talents to the test. However, Mary Saul advises him that club memberships are only accessible to people above the age of 18. Depressed, yet not without charm. Before leaving the club, 
Oscar flirts with Marisol and compliments her appearance. Following this, Oscar and his party make a visit to Brian's house, escorted by his brother Hector. They beg Brian to restart Oscar's instruction and even offer a large quantity of money in return for his services. Brian, on the other hand, is steadfast in his refusal of their offer. Tensions increase when Hector threatens Brian with a firearm, but Brian quickly responds by pulling his own weapon and orders them to leave his land, not before advising Oscar to keep away from his brother. Oscar and Hector, two brothers, return to the fight club, which had previously rejected Oscar admission owing to his age. Hector then signs the relevant guardian paperwork, guaranteeing Oscar's membership in the club. During this point, Mary Soul identifies Oscar as the fighter who defeated the collector in the underground bout and even shares video footage of the fight with him while they converse with two strangers. The Gonzalez brothers go to the club and start questioning Oscar. Before Oscar can react to his trainer Brian, Hector intervenes and inquires about the identity of the new. Summers, the Gonzalez brothers, pretended to be the owners of their own fight club at first. When Hector expresses uncertainty, they reveal their genuine intentions. They are looking for Brian. Hector, who doesn't know where Brian is, proposes that the Gonzalez brothers leave the club once the Gonzalez brothers leave. Hector confides in Oscar, revealing the twin brothers' real origins as hit men out to harm Brian. When Oscar hears this, he insists on notifying Brian of the danger he is in and begs Mary Saul to join them. Soon later, the gang arrives outside Brian's house, and Marisol delivers Oscar's desire for a chat. Brian accepts, and Oscar tells him about the Gonzalez brothers and their quest for his life. Recognizing the seriousness of the situation, Brian invites everyone to enter his home as soon as possible since he suspects the Gonzalez. Others may have been following them and represent an impending threat. Brian's comments were confirmed, and the Gonzalez brothers opened fire, killing two of Hector's friends. Fortunately, Hector, Brian, Oscar, and Marisol were able to seek sanctuary inside Brian's bulletproof home just in time. After losing his companions, Hector concentrates his rage and sadness toward Brian, considering him responsible for their deaths. He then wants to know why the hit guys were hunting him. Brian hesitantly exposes his background as a police officer who caught the legendary drug lord Sonny Kilburn some years ago. Brian had been staying in the neighborhood anonymously since Sonny's imprisonment, attempting to stay out of reach of cartel members seeking vengeance. However, he is mystified as to how the Gonzalez brothers located his whereabouts at the time. Marisol believes that it may be because of the underground battle Oscar took part in, which was later published to the internet. Brian storms out of the home, outraged at Oscar's defiance, but not before telling Hector to pass by the window. In a few moments, what comes next? Brian is hidden behind some bushes outside the home, pointing his crossbow at one of the Gonzalez brothers. Following Brian's instructions, Hector goes past the window, distracting the boy's attention. Taking advantage of this chance, Brian pulls the trigger on the crossbow bolt, killing one of the Gonzalez brothers. Unaware of his brother's death, the other one approaches Brian's house and begins pouring gasoline on it, planning to set it on fire. However, before he can follow out his plan, Brian approaches him, resulting in a heated exchange between the two. Brian obtains the upper hand after a violent brawl and presses the surviving Gonzalez brothers for information about their boss. Regrettably, the obstinate hitman refuses to divulge any information and, in a frantic last move, he fires himself surrendering to the flames and revealing his truths. Brian re-follows him into the home and tells Oscar and the others to leave as soon as possible. He thinks that the Gonzalez brothers have requested reinforcements, and that an immediate threat is on the horizon. Brian then leads the party down a hidden passage, telling them to take care of themselves before leaving. Later that night, as Brian warned, henchmen attack his base. Nonetheless, he manages to fend them off and drive them away. Hector comes outside Brian's house the next day to check on him, but is surprised with an unexpected sight. The area looks to be completely clear, as if no gunfights occurred the night before. Hector suspects Brian may has fled Mexico in the aftermath of the mayhem and informs Oscar of this. Oscar is profoundly disturbed by this news since he respects Brian in high regard and esteem. Following this, when Hector pays a visit to one of his buddy's fiancés, he is besieged by the same gang who stormed Brian's house the night before. 
They kidnap him and force him to divulge Brian's whereabouts to their misfortune. Hector refuses to divulge any information, forcing the group leader to aim a pistol at him. Fortunately, before he can pull the trigger, Brian enters with a machine gun and kills all of the goons at once. Hector is then rescued, and the two proceed to town in a fancy automobile. Oscar and Marisol, on the other hand, arrive outside Brian's house, hoping that he is still inside. A bunch of troops assaulted them, and Oscar easily defeated them. In the midst of the turmoil, one of the soldiers, Eric, approaches Oscar and begins speaking to him. Eric tells Oscar that their objective is not to harm Brian, but rather to express themselves. He was given. He reveals that he is one of Brian's previous classmates, and, rather surprise, Oscar believes him. Following this discovery, Marisol and Oscar climb into Eric's car and accompany him on a quest to find Brian. However, after a short distance, Oscar realizes that Eric is heading them somewhere other than the city. He then instructs Marisol to activate the GPS tracking and phones Hector to alert him that they are being followed by a cop. Eric. As soon as Brian learns the name, he warns Oscar not to trust Eric since he is a filthy character. In the following scene, Eric, a policeman, brings Oscar to another location, the house of a drug lord named Cesar. Eric introduces Oscar to Cesar and Piro and recommends using Oscar to track down and eliminate Brian. Meanwhile, Brian gathers a varied collection of allies, including cops, criminals and members of the drug mafia to aid him in his objective. Hector, who is taken aback by the unusual mix of people in Brian's company, chooses to concentrate on the work at hand. Brian's soldiers attacked Caesar's residence, causing chaos. They engaged in a shootout with Caesar's henchmen. When Caesar realizes the conflict is heating up, he kills Piro and tells him he is no longer required, and joins the battle against Brian's forces. Following that, Brian and Hector were able to enter the mansion and kill most of the opponents one by one. Eric then threatens Brian by holding Oscar prisoner, but to his surprise, the former fights back and subdues him at the same moment. Mary Saul pulls out a pistol and shoots Eric's legs, severely wounding him. Brian also comes and is relieved to see Oscar and Marisol alive and well. After that, Brian leads them out of the home, but Caesar spots them and begins firing at them. Fortunately, Hector comes to the rescue and shoots Caesar in the head with a shotgun. Later, actual officers arrive and take charge of the situation. Hector approaches them and informs them that he is no longer involved with gangs and has come clean in this case. Sonny Kilbin is escorted to an interrogation room by a gang of soldiers and is horrified when they hold him at knife point in the last scene. The film concludes with Brian presenting himself as one of the soldiers in front of Sonny and passing him with a wicked smirk.